Welcome to Before the Council, the show that talks to you about all matters dealing with the Brockton City Council and the Brockton Finance Committee and government in general. I have the pleasure of having with me uh, City Council President Dennis Aneri. Welcome, Dennis. Thank you, Mark. Good Welcome. to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to be here. Almost the Appreciate end of the year. Another another term in the books for uh, you as president. Uh, another term in the books as uh, being president for the third time. Mm -hmm. for the third time, 2007, 2015, and uh, 2018. So. Uh, Yes, it is. It's uh, hard to believe, but yeah, um, I am counting the meetings. I guess you do that when, when you get towards the end. And uh, of course, this year was a little different for me, uh, you know, just coming back from uh, being laid up with the hip surgery for the last, uh, you know, five or six weeks. So just being back out, uh, you know, being before, you know, the council. So new again. and improved bionic new, man. And yeah. That, we'll, well, they, we'll, we'll do the dance number next time. When yeah, you're, when you're and that's what they tell you, you know. They tell you after the surgery that, you know, you, you're going to say, one, I wish I had it done sooner than later. And, and two, you're going to, you're just going to feel like a whole new man. Well, I sort of took that to heart. Like I couldn't understand why the sixth day I wasn't doing what I should be doing. But that's, that's surgery. So, mm -hmm. yes, I'm, I'm back to doing some things, but there are some times when uh, I'll, I'll openly admit that, uh, you know, by about 5 or 6 o'clock, if there's nothing going on that evening, uh, I'm taking a little cat nap. But uh, that's part of it. But, but anyhow. You've always shown up to everything. You've been in government an off, a, a long time, 20 on the school committee. 20, yep. And, okay. And, and, and 15, 15, going on my 16th. Exactly. That's a, that's, that's a yeah. long time in government and to be, service. to be truthful with you, Mark, I toyed with um, when I, I knew the surgery had to be done, and it should have been done sooner. I even toyed with, do I think I could hold myself out until the end of the, the year, to be truthful with you. And, and I couldn't mm -hmm. because my doctor had indicated that you, you're just hurting yourself and you need to do something. So that's when I had to put um, Council, uh, uh, Council Bob Sullivan who was the immediate past president. That's right. how I did it. Some people asked me how I came up with that. That's the most proper way to do it. So Makes when he, he filled in and uh, did, a, did a fine job and kept everything going and, you know, we're, we're all on track again now and, we, and, and we'll wind it down really to be truthful with you. When you get in, into the month of December, things quiet down a little, a, a little differently than what you have when you're right there in April, May, June, July with the budget the and budget, everything. Right. You know, that's, then, that's the major work. And whatever issues that are pertaining to, you know, right. the city in itself and what the mayor is trying to do. So, so uh, last night you did the tax. The ta we you did. set the tax rate. We set the tax rate last night. We set the tax rate, and um, by that we mean that's when we have to come up to to making sure that you know now with the rate in place, it, pretty much. Um, and when I say in place. We really stayed where we were at the one seven three to be truthful with you. Okay. Because we felt that that's that's the best place to be. If we went to the one seven five, we'd be hurting ourselves. And when I say hurting ourselves, all of us. Okay. So explain that a little bit all for us. those of us that don't understand it. Now mm -hmm. I will tell you, I was impressed when I when I looked at that presentation that was given to you. Right. Um, the chamber sent it out in an email yesterday because they were trying to get exactly. all the members to go to talk about the business tax rate and I I printed out part of it part of it was the old proposition two and a half guidelines right but right. there were charts and graphs and it looks like everything was well thought out um, your meeting was about 90 minutes last night uh, last night we, we yeah, yeah we, it was and we had the in between I, I recessed and I did the finance uh, meeting because mm -hmm. that was only a 10 minute meeting and, right. and I wanted to get that done with so I recessed um, and then we did the finance meeting Close that out, and we went back to right. del I saw finish delivering. Part one and yeah. a part two. Part, you know, to del deliberate. You know what I mean? Um, could have kept right on going, but I just wanted, I just wanted to get the finance piece done. So when we went uh, back, um, you know, to finish with what we were doing with discussion, and keep in mind, let's go backwards. We had about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes of, uh, or even longer. I think almost 30 minutes of people that that were able to come up and speak. It was a public hearing. Right. And I didn't say in favor of or opposed to. It was just open to a public hearing. Right. We probably heard some people that wanted to vent on other issues because they figured it was a chance to and I wasn't going to stop them. Mm -hmm. Naturally not. Because right. they still came out with the word tax. Somewhere they came out with right. a concern about tax. You if know? they stray too far from the, then right. you have the gap. Then, then, then we did. But why, why even do that? You know, the people, in, and it's not like it was a crowded room, but it was, it was, there was some people there that had some interest. So, um, you know, that being said, but then when we went back again, like I say, when we went back after the finance meeting, um, you know, and finished deliberating, what it is is that you, you're at the 173 factor, and that's, that's the 
thing that people don't understand is you always have to set a factor. You know, and the, and the lower you go with the factor, three, four, you know, you say three, four, five, then you start to hurt because you're taking money more or less away. You know what I'm saying? And you can't, you can't be doing that because keep in mind that when the mayor is preparing the budget, he's preparing it based upon the fact that he's using up to the two and one half percent. Right. Now, he didn't the first year because when he first got elected, what did he say? I will not raise your tax. Almost to read my lips, no new taxes. Uh, uh, God bless his soul. Exactly. Yes. Just what he yes. said. Exactly. And, and he, he went that route and that was okay. But when he got into the second budget to prepare, then he saw what situation was going on. Your real estate wasn't really where you wanted it to be in the city. It was still stale a little bit. Economy was turning a little bit. Um, but in Mr. Condon's wisdom, which he's always had over these years, he you know, indicated to the mayor that you're, you're going to have to go closer to the 2.5% or up to the 2.5%, and that means the tax is going to have to go up. And that's where your tax goes up. Right. That's how we even explained it last night. You, you've got to understand that utilizing the two full 2.5%, two your tax already went up. It's already, went up. It's already in the budget. Now you're just, you're just submitting that factor. Yes, the fact is also going to strike up a little bit too because why? Your evaluation changed from the time we did the budget from the 2.5%. I mean, that, that's right. how it works. See, so right. a lot of people don't understand that. And they'll say, again, there you want my taxes. Um, I, I mean, I, I can understand that. We try to be as gentle as we can. We try to do the same as what we can with, with businesses as well. Um, because Brockton, when, when you look at Brockton and its business you know, factors, you have a lot of small businesses in this city. Right. You have a lot of mom pop businesses. Doesn't matter what nationalities they are, but those are the types of businesses you have in this city. And and over the years I've always been one to say the thing that we're missing is an anchor. We don't have an anchor that brings in seven, eight, nine million dollars each and every year consecutively. Right. You know? Um question was raised last night, you know, Brockton Hustle doesn't pay tax. No, they don't pay tax. You know what I mean? You have some nonprofits that don't pay tax. You know, if mm -hmm. you can remember how many years, you know, uh, we we didn't have good Sam on on, on the roster until the last couple of years. And right. when it came to become tax factor for us, we jumped absolutely with joy. Yeah, you know what I mean. And they're flourishing. Um, they're flourishing. Uh, and and uh, I was a I was a patient there for three days, and I can't I can't complain. That, you know, of anything of, of being there and and. Uh, I, I think it's a great hospital, so is a signature, so is a Brockton hospital. I mean, the same thing. Uh, but, you know, when that day comes, I don't, I don't know. We, we need to work that, and I know the mayor tried to work that over, the, over some years ago to try to bring those people into, you know, can you help us? How can you become, you know, a part of the community by us getting some tax money and revenues from you? But that's, that's never really, you know, came into the play. So well, we just got a company here that um, is a division of Oakers. That's right. Uh, ISG. ISG. They are the people, the lighting you're looking at today, the, you're, you're the first very, government show and, and I, with and the I lighting. Like it, and I like it a lot. We got new light. They're right in your ward on West Chestnut yes, Street. They, they consolidated with Oakers, Oakers. And we're happy that we have a Brockton-based yeah, company. Um, you know, obviously, you guys are debating with ordinance, the, the whole medic, the, the, the whole the recreational, recreational marijuana, marijuana right. which is taxes right. and tax revenue. Yep. Um, there's talk. I mean, the... Uh, the casino, Crosby's gone. Right. They're trying to reapply again, they Carney, yes, to, to do the casino. Um, and like you said, there are a lot of there are and, a lot of nonprofits. There are a lot of churches, and, but there's a lot of storefront churches. Absolutely. In Brockton now. Yeah. And um, I and I think you and I and I think as I said last evening when you know people were trying to make the point about my tax going up, my tax going up, and and you know you've seen in, in the last year or so, um, last year and a half, but the last year or so in itself, real estate in the city has been has been prime. I mean, yes. I, I know I know some people that have their houses up for sale for three hundred thirty, three hundred forty thousand dollars, and and the people would come looking and saying, oh, I, "I want your house. I'll give you three hundred fifty thousand." Right. Over. Over. Over the. How price. often yes. does that happen? And I said that last night. Of, I mean, I'm not going anywhere. But if someone ever came and approached me. Well, I'd be foolish, and you would be foolish if we didn't look and say, there, "Well, wait a there minute." There was a house on West Chestnut Street in your ward. Yes, that sat there for years. It was a white house on a corner. It was up in the three forty. Forty. It's now like blue and, and you know, 
Christo's house is, it, Christo's is, house is on the corner. Yeah. I don't know if it was sold, the sign went down. The sign went down, so I don't okay. know if, it, I noticed that the other day too, so but I don't know, but. It, there's a lot, there's a lot of activity. The real estate agents I know, John Buckley comes in here and does his show every month. Exactly. Brockton's hot because and, and people can't afford Boston anymore, uh, uh, so they're coming here. Absolutely, absolutely correct. And um, it's still an and, easier and, and, commute than being in Fall River. And do you know place. that the um, uh, project that was built off of Linwood Street, where the old radio tower was, yeah, where um, oh yeah, where originally when it, it came before, you know, me as a counselor, when when the investors came to me and developers you know, wanted to do something and we went back to the people and the people weren't really too happy about it because of it being our, you know, all the settled neighborhood. Right. They were concerned about wetlands and water and everything. Um, we worked all that out. I mean, those houses started at 489,000. I think the last one ended up at 579,000 and majority of them there. Um, and I, I walked around there when I campaigned yep. the last time to meet the new people that had come in. I would say a majority of them were were people that came from the Boston because mm -hmm. they wanted to come back here. A couple even actually lived in Brockton, moved out of Brockton 10 yeah. years, 10, 12 years ago to go to Boston. Yeah. And now they said, no, we want to come back here because we want our kids to go to school here because the mother said, that's where I went to school. So And, and over near me on Pleasant, all of George Carney's properties. Exactly. They, Kelly Lane, okay, and that whole area and Chilton, and it's, it's coming in on, on both sides. Oh. I still... I still worry down the road when Gary's goes out. Well, when Gary, how that's yeah, all going to yeah, 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 go down because yeah. it's one of the last big I know, parcels I in know. the city of Brockton. But around the corner, you you start seeing okay, you see a house sitting there, then you see a dumpster in the driveway, right? Then you see everything pulled out. They renovate it, they flip them, yep. and they're building on every square inch they of are. land that that is they left are. and and available. They really they, they really are, and and I don't know if you've been uh, down. Uh, at all by, and I think you were, you were down by South Junior High School a few weeks ago when they, uh, when they did the tree ceremony. Right. And oh, yeah, right those, next to the school. Those three new schools that, that uh, three new schools, excuse me, the three new homes that have been built there, they just sold one, which they're doing a signing on, and the other two will be done, and uh, that street could still go further. I right. don't want it to at this point. Right. But for what I had there before, was yeah. a contracting company, and he's a great kid, he really is, and... Uh, uh, Manny does a, does a lot for the city as well, and uh, you know he just wanted to get out of there because of the existing neighborhood was complaining. And right. then when he came to me and says, "I want to build three homes," I said, "Let's let's go for it." Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I tell you, it's a nice sure is nice area. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you might look out at South Junior High School, but you know something? What's wrong with that? South. I gotta tell South you something. Middle when school. they redid South Middle School, nice. I think that's the one they redid the best. Yeah, they did. It looks nice. First of all, it was always red brick. Yeah. So it had a different look to it to begin. The clock tower over, over there, there, throw the trees in there. Yep. It's a nice area. Yep. And, um, you know, Brockton's a nice place. Brockton gets bad mouthed all the well, time. And, and, and it shouldn't. And, yeah. And because if you have pride like we do, yep. um, I get a little disgruntled every once as, in a while. As, as but we, uh, but I. You know, um, in the past, I've looked, I, li I worked in Foxborough for nine years. I thought about working, uh, living there when I worked there, before I was here. Before you, yeah. I couldn't afford a doghouse then. Yeah. <laughs> let alone now. <laughs> right, I mean, right. you know, the, 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 that $489,000 house you're talking about in Brockton is like a six hundred eighty nine or seven hundred eighty nine thousand dollars house in Foxborough. Exactly. Or Sharon. Yeah. Or, plus... The values are even more over there. So if you think your taxes are high here, right. try to go to one of those right. towns. And, and, they're 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 outrageous. And, and keep in mind their services are different too. I will never live any place that there isn't a sewer system. You know what I mean? Okay, their because I don't want different. septic. Yeah. I don't want to deal with that. Um, so for businesses, where they they asked for the businesses to come yeah, out last night, yeah. what 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 in it? What's the end result? Well, I haven't read the paper. Well, really the end, re the end result attention. the end result was by us staying at the one seven. By by us staying at the one seven three factor, yeah. I mean the businesses aren't going to be hurt that much either. Yeah, they'll see their little jump as as they would see. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know they come before us each and every year um, in regards to what we need to do for the businesses, and you know we won't disagree. But then again, you almost want to begin to say, okay, what have you done to bring business to us though? Mm -hmm. And and I don't mean that in a, in, a, in a rude type of way to you know to the chamber at all or, or to Chris Cooney who was a great guy and great kid you know I've known him for a long time he, and he does a wonderful job but sometimes okay you want to say that as well because we're all in this together 
Right. You know, we're all in this together. And, and uh, sometimes that's been Brockton's downfall, I always said over the years, where anybody that sat in, in the mayoral seat, always, we always waited for someone to knock on the door and say, hey, I, I want to bring a business. Great, come on and sit down. Well, sometimes you've got to go out and get that business. Right. You know, we, we've got to work for it. And, and I think that's, that's something that, you know, still needs to be done and still looked at. I think, you know, the mayor's trying to do that, you know what I mean, in the city. Um, he's trying to find ways to bring revenues. And as you mentioned early on, the, the recreational marijuana could be a piece that's going to give us some revenue. The, the revenue right now is going to come from the medical piece, and I think that's what needs to really get going. You know, in good health needs to be able to be going in my own personal mind, and so won't the other one, which is being built at the corner of Liberty, because that's a medical marijuana as well. That's and, medical too. And their right? grandfather, okay. their grandfather. Okay. You know, they're so doing a nice job on that. That's project. yeah. They, they, that's a you know they're that leasing was, that building, but they. I mean, it was a church, and it was something before that. Yeah, I forget what I it forget was. I forget what it was. But they're making it, they're going to make that they corner are. look really good. They are, are, are you concerned? I, I mean, I with the, the you know all the stuff going on with the recreational about some like we've seen aerial shots of, mm -hmm. of Leicester, yeah, with the crowd and the the, the people. I, like, the, 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 there's, there's a proposal, I think there was a meeting on it last week from the people, yeah, uh, the Wainwright Law Office next yeah, to the Foxy Lady. Yeah, they want to put something in over yeah. there and, and Traffic's not that great over first, there now to begin with. First, it's right near the hospital. First, I don't know how they could even be judging where they want to be when we haven't even finished with with the ordinance committee to where they're going to be located. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, personally, I believe they belong in, in shopping plaza areas. I, I think, you know, we got a few vacant ones on the south side of the city that, you know, could, could be a place to look at. You know what I'm saying? Could you take another place up on my West Chestnut Street, that area there? I, I don't want to say I'd, I I want one, you know what I mean, because I have two, but I think that's where you need to be looking, you know what I mean, and you you've got to be careful of where you want to be in some of these other small pockets because you have residents and you have you know your your, your school zones as well, you know, five hundred right feet, right? Five hundred feet, and and from what I understand, eight licenses overall. I two of them right. downtown. I think he wants to have two downtown, and the there. other six six seat. My but theory, and it, to, to me it's a mixed bag, but my theory is the people that are going to come to buy it, right. all the towns around us have all rejected exactly. it for all intents and purposes. Yep. So if people are coming from Stoughton, then they're, they're have gonna, one on the Stoughton line. Right, they're right. coming from Abington, Abington yeah, line, East Bridgewater, Whitman. Right. Put it in there's, the outskirts because then people don't have to drive all the way through right to the, the center, center core. Right, yeah. And, um, you know, the center core, we've got plenty of issues going on downtown we, as we, it is. We do. Okay. We do. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. it, it, if, 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 if anything is done responsibly, <laughs> it, 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 it can be, exactly. it can happen. I know there's been criticism. If I was sitting in your chair, I would want to be careful how I went about it, not to slow down the process or obstruct the process, but to, you to know, to make sure right. all the I's are dotted and all the, the T's, T's across. Right. Now, you're going to lose revenue on that period of time, it, but, and, you know. And, 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 and it, we are, and, and, I, and, I think the, and I think, you know, the ordinance committee is, is doing the right thing and what they're doing, as much as at the last meeting, it, it was a little heavy discussion at some points, and Somebody said that I was barking at a couple of the, of the members. I wasn't barking at anybody. I was just trying to indicate that we need to get it done. You know what I mean? We need to bring it to a resolution. And I think that's what they're trying to do even at our next meeting when they have the, the meeting on the 18th is to try to try to close the gap. The discussion is amongst that 500, 750, and, and 1,000. But I don't know. The thing you have to look at is, is the cannabis committee secure to that 500 feet and you can't change it. That's the question that's got to be, and somebody needs to be finding that out to be truthful with you. Because mm -hmm. if that's that's the law, that's the law. Right. I mean, you know, we can't just think because we're Brockton and we're, you know, no, this is how we want it. And because some people have come forth and told us this is what you need to do, if it's the law, it's the law. You know well, what I mean? Well, the committee and the council, surely, or the FinCom can bring people before right. from the Cannabis Commission. Absolutely. I mean, it's been on Absolutely. You know, a lot of the Boston media stations um, that on the record show on Channel 5. Exactly. I saw the, the, the head of the Cannabis Control Commission. He was, on, yeah. he was on there, and he explained. He put a lot of it in perspective right. so you can understand it. 
and you know they're they're being careful now. Of course, you got you got the legislature right. that could open, open up Pandora's box, box too to and too. change it around and, and change the law. And that, I mean, and they're probably going to have to tweak it. Think about it. Any ballot question that's ever happened in Massachusetts, you and I both right. know right. that once something happens and if it doesn't work out, the legislature well, they're, they're, goes they're, in and makes adjustments. Or you have a, or you have the infamous home rule petition, right? Exactly. Which I don't exactly. think is going to work yeah. in, in this yeah. case. Well, you, you take many, many years ago when you go back to when the voters voted for term limitations, and, and what happened there? Billy Bolger said we were all drunk the night we went to vote. Right. And whatever happened to it? Nothing. Look at the sales tax. You know, the sales tax, the same. I same mean, thing. same same situation. You and know what I mean? the millionaires tax that was the Supreme Judicial S Court the same that way. took care the of same that. Way. So, and, I, and, and I know there's been some heat with us. Some of us on the council because of not allowing it to go back on a ballot. You know, the, the whole question itself about recreational marijuana. But, you know, democracy was made the day you went to vote. That's the way I looked at it. And if people want to hold that against me, you know, I, I just couldn't tell 17,800 people in the city of Brockton they didn't know what they were doing. I just couldn't do it. That's my way of looking well, hopefully at hopefully the voting is trending upwards. And you know, if, I if mean, the last election's anything to show for it, people will take as much interest in the city election right. as they did this time we broke records exactly. this time for 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 uh, a midterm election exactly. exactly i mean when i heard 48% i was doing jumping jacks I, but I i'd still like to go back to 60% exactly. so it's a little more than majority exactly. Uh, parties have shifted a little bit. If you, Brockton mm, now is everything. majority unenrolled. You can see that. It's not Democrat anymore. You, you can and, see. and it was never Republican. You, you, can, you can just see how it's, how it's shifting out. So what, it, what, what are the issues you guys are looking at going into two, 2019? I know you'll elect a new president. Be, there will be a new president that will, will be uh, elected. We'll do that uh, probably right at the meeting after Christmas because the whole 27th, calendar, 27th, right? the yes, Thursday because night. Tuesday's Christmas. We don't meet that Wednesday. We'll meet that Thursday night. Um, we'll have possibly a finance meeting on the on the 17th. Council this coming Monday on the 10th, and then then that person will be nominated and then go into office. Not until January. The council the council meeting of January. I think it's the 14th, the Monday, the 14th. Right. Um, so I will remain, you know, president until that particular time when that person takes the uh, uh, takes the podium. And when I say that, I I hope that. That's the only, that's the only, um, um, I guess, do I want to say sad thing or disappointing thing, I guess, that, that I didn't have this year is I didn't have a podium. I, mm -hmm. I didn't have, I didn't reside in the council chambers. Yeah. My third year was the traveling city council. You know what I mean? From yeah. Little Theater to Wall Memorial Building to South, to over here, to the back over here, to, and do, and you call me up and say, where are you going to be? Where are you going to yeah. be? Where are you yeah. going to be? Yeah. My help, where are you going to be? Huh? So um, it's not what I expected. With the situation we have at City Hall with the elevator, we hope everything will be in place and that, you know, we'll be able to start out up there. I think that's our number one biggest concern. Yeah. Um, and then I think the other will be hoping that the Ordinance Committee will have all of this in place so that we can at least get that before full council. And because and, now full council will have to vet it out a little bit. Right. Uh, but I think it'll 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 go through its process because there's five members of the Ordinance Committee. And then you know it's 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 you do need six votes, but in some cases you need eight when it comes to zoning. Right. So you have to watch and see. Um, and then and then believe it or not, Mark, you know how it goes. You, you get into February, March, and then you, you're going to start rolling right into the budget process. And that's where are my we next be? question. CFO is and advertised yes. in Mass Municipal Association. I've yes. seen people putting it out on Facebook. Um, he is. Uh, when is Jay leaving? Jay will be leaving. I believe it is in February. I don't know the actual the actual date. Okay. You know, human resources person's already been appointed, so there's somebody in that place. I'm not sure on, on Mr. Condon's date. Um, I will be discussing. Um, I will be talking with the mayor. Hopefully, um, he comes. He will be arriving back this evening. He's been out of out of country, so I've been right. uh, in the acting spot somewhat over the last week, overseeing things. But uh, everything's been fine. Uh, I will be discussing with him where we were at, particularly with that, because I. I think Mr. Condon wants to see somebody come in so he has a chance to work with him for a few weeks as well. So um, I have a question on that. I sure. maybe should have asked you before we went on yeah. the air, but I'm going to ask it anyway. I'm not trying to be controversial or anything. It's not a residency position, correct? It, I, I, I looked at the posting, and it looks like, I think, going back to the Financial Control Board what, and going back to the exactly. bad old days, I know Jay... Was grandfather basically he, he, was, he, he wasn't he lives he was a Bridgewater right, resident right. 
and he didn't live here. And, you know, the residency ordinance has been changed over the years since exactly. it was passed. Exactly. But I was surprised when I saw the posting. It looked like there isn't residency. No, I don't, I don't, believe, I don't believe that there is, to be truthful with you. And um, to, if you want my honest to God's truth, and I'm only one person speaking, yeah. and, and I, I would preferably see a person come in from somewhere else, to be truthful with you, mm -hmm. so he doesn't know everybody and everything and every bone and body and what needs to be done, you know what I'm saying? I think you need you need fresh vibe, you know what I'm saying? Um, the case of the human resource person, uh, and I sat on that committee for a, a few meetings as well, and, and number one thing I made sure that I wanted that committee to do, um, and the mayor asked me to sit there, is to make sure that, you know, if there was 18 applicants and 12 of them had brought to Mass, didn't care what they had for a resume, they would, they would be interviewed, which is the right way to do it. And that's the one thing yeah. you want to make sure happened. This particular, you know, person here, and, and her name escapes me, but a nice gal, but um, she came from Brockton, right. but worked 25 years for a university and lives in Brockton. Right. You know what I mean, so it was an easy, right. it was, that was an easy one. And, and in personnel area, so that she wants to be in more an area where to respond to a human resource. She right. knows enough of how we go from here. So um, I think that's what we need in a financial person. I really, really do. That's a key. I mean, it's, that's it's, probably the key position. If you really think about it, no no disrespect to the mayor or the council or the school oh, committee or everybody, that's the absolutely. person that gives you all the forecasts, that certifies things. Absolutely. That's an awesome responsibility absolutely. for whoever has that. They gave me the three-minute cue. We probably have about two minutes left, believe it or not. I told you we could talk forever. Well, uh, yeah, um, we, we could. <laughs> anything <laughs> we always do, else we? we missed? Uh, I, 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 I think as we, you know, as we went through the course of this year, Mark, I think it was, uh, you know, a very, a very good year. It was, um, it was tough at some points. Like I say to you, not being in, I think not being in City Hall um, took away a little bit of respect to the council in itself. And uh, I always did feel bad for Councilor Nicastro and Councilor Darren Court because I've never had a chance to sit at their, their, their chairs. You know what they I mean? They got sworn in, and that was it. And we got sworn in in the War Memorial Building, which was right. which was nice. Which right. was nice. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, but you well, know, that's right. we never had a chance to uh, we never had a chance to really go back there to, uh, to to be there. But I think in the course of the year in itself, yeah, there's been a few ups and downs and bumps in in the road a little bit. Um, you know, with everybody coming together and getting along. But um, I think at the heart of it all, uh, I, I think the council that's there um, is trying to do what we can do in the best interest of, of, of the city, in the best interest of the people especially, um, especially the fact that, you know, we, we still are looking for revenues and whatever way we can do things. And a lot of questions this year about contracts. I'm going to bring you back one more time because we're not, we're not finished since you have that little extra time in January. I want to I bring oh, you I'll back, back because I want to talk about... Um, like we'll charter come. school and effect on yep. the budget and the budget. And yep. before you know the budget over, it's going right. to be election time again. Absolutely. So Absolutely. We'll, we'll, we'll look down the road. But even not to, not to just quickly there with the budget, thank God, you know, the school department didn't do too bad all, all in all at the end, you know what I mean? Right. Where they were able to capture, you know, some, some funds and, and thank Thanks to our legislative, legislative people that, sure. that were in there working hard. So, you know, I give them, I give them total credit because I've always said that's your job. Bring home the bacon. You know what I mean. That and, is the job. And, and then we 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 get it working. But all in all, hey, we'll be fine. Well, we're almost to the end of the year, but we're going to have you back. And you know, happy Thank Hanukkah you. to you, Mark, and, Thank and happy you. holidays too. Yep. Thank you. Hanukkah, Christmas. I I love them all. It'll be over before we know it. You got it. All Thank, right. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thanks. You're watching before the council, City Council President Dennis Aniri. Uh, we'll have him back one more time so we can inform you on BCA Government 12 about everything about the government here in the City of Champions. Thanks for joining us.